I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas Light Guy, version 2.0, AI generated. In this tutorial, I will share with you a couple of methods to model wireframes or props requiring a custom model in X-Lights. Actually these methods work with any 2D custom prop. I'm not going to cover 3D models in this tutorial. Perhaps I will create another tutorial on 3D models. Let's get started. Now the holidays are over, many of you picked up some new props on clearance at your local hardware store. The props may have colored or flashing lights but you have other plans for it. Retrofit the props with individual controlled pixels or strips. Or perhaps, you built your own prop and need to model it. I didn't buy a new prop on clearance but I found an old one. I was taking down my display and organizing my storage area when I found six of these stars with posts or stands. I'm not sure even where they came from but I realized it wouldn't be too difficult to retrofit with pixels and to model in X-Lights. I will refer to these as yard stars. The yard stars had white rope lights attached using cable ties. I removed all the rope lights and added bullet pixels. I added 7 pixels to the post and 45 pixels to the star for a total of 52 pixels. I could have used only 5 pixels on the post so the pixel count was an even 50 but I wanted the post to have more definition. Next let's look at how I modeled the yard star in X-Lights. I've opened up X-Lights and I'm on the layout tab. In order to save time, I've skipped the controller setup since this isn't the focus of this tutorial and it is a very standard setup. I have already created a custom model for my yard star. The yard star model is pretty simple, I could have modeled it using the native star model. And a single line model something like this. But that's not the point of this tutorial. Let me delete these models and show you another method to create a custom model. First, select the custom model icon, it looks like a singing face icon. Click, drag and expand the model box. In the Models window, on the Model Data option, click on the Click to Edit. This will open the Custom Model window. Let me make the Custom Model window larger so it is easier to view. Then increase the width and height to a reasonable size. I set the width to 50. And the height to 50 also. You could build the custom model by clicking on a square and adding a node numbers in the shape of the prop. I will add 7 nodes as if I'm modeling the post of the yard star. You get the idea, but wait, there is an easier way. I will close the custom model window and delete the custom model I just created. Now, let me show you how I created my custom model. First take a picture of your prop. Here is the picture I took of the yard star. Please note you can wire your prop first and model afterwards, as I did or model first then wire. It doesn't make a difference. Once again, click, drag and expand the model box. In the models window, on the model data option, click on the click to edit. This will open the custom model window. Next select your prop picture using the browse button as background image. Let me select by prop picture. Then increase the width and height to a reasonable size. Since I wired my prop before modeling, it already has pixels. I selected a size where the grid and pixels are about the same size. You may have to experiment with size to get it right for your prop. I set the width to 50 and the height to 50 also. You use the slider to adjust the brightness of your prop picture or you can click here to turn on or off the background image. You can use the plus and minus keys to make zoom in and out. Once you have the size and brightness adjusted to your liking, then just click on the pixels and add the node numbers. Let me demonstrate. I will add a few nodes. I think you get the idea. Next, I will close the model window. And delete the model. And show you the completed custom model I made for the yard star. I will select my custom model and in the models window, on the model data option, click on the click to edit. This will open the custom model window. Here is the completed custom model of my yard star with all 52 nodes defined. Next, I will close the custom model window. Don't forget to add submodels to your custom model. Submodels are a very powerful feature of Xlight. Let me show you the submodels I added to my yard star. 
In the Models window, on the Submodels option, click on the Click to Edit. This will open the Submodel window. I created submodels called Star, Stem, Tips, and Edges. Once you have defined the nodes and the submodels in your custom model, make sure you export the model so you have it saved and can reuse it. To export your custom model, select and click to bring up a menu. Select Export XLights model and a save file dialog will pop up. Enter a name and press the save button. Now you have created a custom model for your prop. It is time to see your new prop in action. I will move over to the Sequencer tab. I have already created a sequence to save some time. I will open the sequence. And I will demonstrate a few simple effects I created. I will also show how submodels are used to create different effects on the same model. First let me expand the model to show the submodels by double clicking on the Yard Star model. The first effect I call Star Chase. It uses the single strand effect on the Star and Stem submodels. The next effect is a simple marquee effect on the star submodel. Next I call this one color change. This one has a color wash effect on the star submodel and the on effect placed on the tips submodel. The next one is called zigzag and it uses a single strand effect on the edges submodel. Next I call this one twinkle. It uses the twinkle effect on the star submodel. The last one is called Red Outline. It is slightly more complicated but uses a combination of the Curtain effect and the On effect to produce an outline of the prop. Notice none of these effects were added to the main Yard Starf model, effects were only on the submodels. You may be wondering about the Off effect at the top of each effect. I have the Off effect set to Transparent on the main Yard Starf model but that is used as an easy way to play all the effects on the prop submodels. Okay, now I have explained the effects in this sequence, let me demonstrate using the actual Yard Star prop connected to a controller. Let me start my video. Okay. My video has started. I will now enable the output on X-Lights and run the sequence. The first effect is called Star Chase. Second is called Marquee. Third is called Color Change. Fourth is called Zigzag. Fifth is called Twinkle. And finally the last is called Red Outline. I'm very pleased with how my Yard Star turned out. I was able to retrofit an old prop with individual controlled pixels and bring new life into it. I think six of the Yard Stars will be a nice addition to my display next year. Custom models allow you to create your own props and model them in X-Lights. This is a very powerful feature of X-Lights. Also don't forget to add submodels to your new custom model for even more flexibility in different effect options when sequencing. Next time you are thinking about creating a new prop or retrofitting a prop, don't worry you will be able to model in X-Lights. Remember you can wire your prop and model afterwards as I did, or model first then wire afterwards. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. If you did and would like to see more tutorials like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. The Christmas Light Guy Remember It doesn't cost anything to subscribe, all you have to do is press the subscribe button below. Thank you.